Oh, the oven's on. Might as well do some of this too. Olive oil, a lot of smoked paprika. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Don't be shy with salt either. I just bought this one. My hands are clean. I always clean my hands, I promise. And let's layer them out, crisp them up. Just sit down. My ankle can't handle being up. But we are going to continue and make the dressing now. I needed a Dijon, and I was like, oh, I have Dijon. Um, I barely have Dijon. So we're going to make the whole dressing in here. It's going to be about that much. I, please don't ask me. I do not know. I've got a whole bunch of lemon here, and because that's not going to be a thing, I got to do it like that and do it over my hands so I can collect all the seeds. In the summertime, I found there's a lot more seeds in my lemons. They're pretty juicy though, but that thing, that's, that's a lot. Um, some salt and pepper. Okay, I can't. I'm just gonna open that like that. Like, I know this, that's very, um, it's very daring to do it that way because you never know what's gonna pour out. Just like this. Okay, that's good. That and that, and then tahini. Now, here's the other thing. My tahini, barely any in there. So I've gotta dig it out and then pop it in. You know, it's kind of like um it's like a really thick uh, anemic peanut butter that's what that looks like now the best part of this is the garlic we just grew a whole bunch of garlic it's Chris's dad's memorial garlic and it's been drying in the garage and it's been good it's been so hot because um, it's it's ready and we can like use it. So look at this, like, like that. I think I just trying to get the top part off. Well, no mind. Let me wash my hands. It's coming with dirt. It's coming with dirt. Okay. Rather than get that top part off, I just got all of these cloves out. And I've got to um like mince it, but I'm not gonna mince it because it's for the birds. And here's my hot tip too. I don't even peel it. I just stick it right in there and go like this. And go like this. And go like this. If you've never seen people cheat like this in the cooking and you think, I can't do that. Not that you need my permission, but you have my permission. You don't need to do things like fancy way or a certain way. Should I do a fourth one? Okay, it's little. I'll just do one more. And then I'm gonna shake it. That's the top. Get all the little things and just shake it right in here. So good. Okay, original recipe said add a little bit of water. I don't know why that's even necessary, but whatever. I guess maybe to thin it out a little bit. The water's right over here to the side. Come on. And now we need to get some kale. I forgot the best part. Nutritional yeast. Should I? do that. Like two scoops of it. Going in. There we go. Continue the shake. Yeah, then. That's how you know they're crispy. You go to the yard to get kale and then there's a branch that's so big so you just like cut the whole cut the whole branch.
I tossed the kale in when the pasta was a little bit warm and this bowl is clearly too small for what I'm trying to do, but it's just what I have. So next thing I'm gonna do is just pour this over the top. Oh my gosh. Toss it and then put it in the fridge. I'm not gonna top it with the crispy chickpeas quite yet because I'm gonna save those for later, right before I serve. I mean, this is this this bowl is clearly not the right size. <laughs> oh my gosh, friends, it smells so good. So, so good. Oh, it's garlicky. It's very good. Very good? Mm-hmm. 